so you don't hold all that in there, right? <laughs> so, um, she's not going to bite you. We don't feed them any meat, but they're very wiggly, so just make sure you have a good little grip on her. Yes, and they're going to go back out into the wild eventually. Okay. How many gators do you have? Um, we have, I think, 10 in the baby tank. They eat little soy pellets right now, and then when they're about three, they'll go into the bigger pond, Okay. and we'll start feeding them meat. And then we work with our local wildlife and fisheries office, and they kind of determine when they feel like they need to go back out. So, this actually just opened Friday. It's oh, a brand new facility. really? Yeah. Okay. We had, uh, we had a, a facility here for 30 years that built about 15 people. So this is quite a big upgrade for us. That's awesome. <laughs> I, yeah, because I've never heard about holding an alligator before. So they're not too friendly when you release them back then? Once they start eating meat, yeah, we don't, we don't, we can't mess with it anymore, right? You don't get to hold those No, eggs. not at all. <laughs> they don't know your difference between, the difference between your finger and a piece of meat, so, yeah. yeah. Are there alligators out in the pond? No, not here. Okay. No, no. Oh, there isn't? No, not, they shouldn't. Not because it says no swimming, so we thought maybe uh, it's just a city, a city pond. Oh, okay. It's very deep in the center, but you can fish, but there's no gators. So how how do they come to be with you? Well, and fisheries uh, find that they find a baby without a mother in the wild, then we have a license to keep so many of them. Okay. Um, they don't take them from the mother if they just find yeah. them without a mother, because at this size in the wild, they have very low survival rate. Anything can eat them. So. Yeah. We just kind of helped them out for a little while and just kind of made it a little educational thing for kids. We have a lot of gators around here, so we do a lot of field trips for kids. Yeah. We kind of tell them what to do if they find a gator and that sort of thing. So. What do you do if you find a gator in the wild? Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only place you can touch it. <laughs> Don't try to catch them. That's right, because nine times out of ten, there's like an eight-foot mama around the corner. Oh. That's about the only time a gator really will get aggressive. There's kind of a lot of misconceptions about that, is so. that they have a nest. The baby alligators this size, how, how sharp are their teeth? Um, they're born with 72 teeth. They're called mashers. 72. They're sharp, but they're very, very tiny at okay. this point. Yeah, and then they get, of course, get bigger. They lose their teeth all throughout their lives, just like sharks. So they just constantly they regenerate. Get, oh, they regenerate. They do. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All of the teeth in the little gift shop area are, are real teeth. They are real teeth. They are. They're begging for something. They're from um, they're from a gentleman um, in Cameron that has a that has a processing form. Okay. And so they're actually teeth. So. Okay. And every now and again, when we clean our pond, not this new one yet, but the older pond, we'll find them. Okay. Yeah. They're very cold, huh? They're like reptiles, cold blooded. Cold. Mm -hmm. I can feel yeah. So this is the little little one I was holding. This so is Petite. Yes, petite. Mm -hmm. And how old is Petite? Uh, Petite's 10 months old, Dion. Around 10, 10 months, months old. Yeah. And so what is she eating right now? Right now she's on a soybean pellet diet. Yeah, similar to if you had a pet lizard or a pet turtle. Okay. That's what we feed our small guys in the tank uh, until they're about three. Three? Yeah, they're about three years old. And, and we put them in our pond, our inside exhibit, and we'll start feeding them meat. Okay, and at that time, Chicken. we're not going to be holding them No, anymore. we don't hold them any longer. No, ma'am. <laughs> we, can, we can hold them now. They've never tasted blood. They've never tasted any meat. Uh, they're, they're not an aggressive animal. Okay. So, um, at this age right here, we're kind of helping them out until they're big enough to go back out in the wild. Okay, and you said her teeth aren't really big enough to... No, I mean, it would. I'm sure it would hurt to put, to put a good scratch, but they yeah. are born with 72 teeth, and uh, they're called mashers at this point. Mm -hmm. um, their mother, actually, in the wild will feed them until they're old enough to eat. So. Okay. And then if you see one in the wild, of course, don't pick it up. No, that's true. We tell people, especially our children that come on field trips, that this is the only place that you can actually hold a baby. This, yeah. You can safely hold a baby where the mother's not around the corner. Okay. So. And you said they eat their food whole. They don't actually chew it, and then they break it with their tail? That's true. Uh, when they're when they're this age, um, like I said, the little pellets are not hard for them to eat. But whenever they're in the wild and it's a larger piece of meat, then that's what they'll use their teeth and their, to break the bones. And they can also use their tail to cut the prey. Wow. And then uh, how big do they get? You said 
the really big ones that you see in the wild? I mean, they have some that are 12, 14 foot. Um, I think that's kind of the, the, the bigger ones on record right now. They uh -huh. grow about a foot a year in the wild. But once they get about that age, then they start getting bigger in girth. Like yeah. their heads get bigger and their bodies get bigger. Okay. And then, is this teeth? Can you show the eyelid again? Sure. Not opening. Camera shy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Can you tell if this is a boy or a girl? Um, actually, I can't tell. Uh, they do usually when they're a little bit bigger. If there's a way that you can sex the alligator mm -hmm. to see the, the sex of it. Um, I'm not sure if they've done that or not yet on this one, but I don't really know the, the proper process <laughs> for it. So. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. A couple other facts. They actually drink water through their bellies. They through absorb water on their, through their belly. See the lines? Yeah. Um, that's how they stay hydrated. Uh, this part on their back will get harder as they age. Is that like um, protection? Yeah, it's kind of like armor, but they also use it to heat their bodies. Okay. They sun in the daytime. A lot of places around here in this hot summertime, you'll see gators on the road on the concrete. Yeah, we And they're saw. just kind of heating this up. acts like a heating blanket to keep, to okay. keep them warm. Um, that's about it. Any other questions that you have? No, thank you. You're um, welcome. This is it. We, we run off donations, okay. um, but this is a free attraction and it's open Monday through Saturday, nine to five. And we're right off of Interstate 10. In Jennings. Jennings, Louisiana, yeah. exit 64. It's jeffdavis.org. Um, if you have any questions, you can go on there. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome.